That coverage right now live on NBC Sports Boston taking on the Chicago Bulls. Scotty Lindsay to the rack. Here it's getting a pass to the wing and letting guys use their athleticism and attack the rim. Lindsay averaged 11 a game last year for the Raptors 905 squad. The lob up to Lindsay. Nice find, Marvin Smith. Denzel Valentine averaged nearly a triple double last year for Maine. Cut short due to injury. Jump pass Lindsay. Marvin Smith for three. Got them all. Denzel Valentine on the move behind the back to Kendall Smith, and it's picked off. Does Hunt put on a show? One-handed slam. And the Knicks have the first basket of the second quarter. Kamar Baldwin not wasting time. Valentine for three, yes. Valentine, whether he has the ball or not, always has his eyes up floor. Bounce pass to the cutting, Baldwin. Nicely done. Score sheet, three points, three assists, three rebounds. Hunt wanted a foul, did not get it. Marvin Smith the other way, no look pass. Valentine, Kendall Smith drills it. He's not an elder statesman by any means of the game, but he's our veteran and leader, and it shows. Keels for three. Kamar Baldwin has rim finishing ability. Takes a three. Another oh, one for Baldwin. Gosh. But he is their leading scorer now with 11 points as well. He's looked good. Nice finish. At the rim, Akinjo, Chaminich. Oh, the handoff, Shayok, Lindsey. Keels decides to take it, and the rebound to Brooks. Keels, right-handed finish in this league. That's what I've come to find out now, watching the league the last few years. It is, you know, and when you look at it as a normal, you know, a great little Brooks with a great little shot in the paint there, but. But they're all, you know, there could be that selfish guy that wants to get all his shots and get up there quicker. Hunt the other way and is Chris sensed before tip. They have to, and again, it's opening night, first game. There's always going to be those. And in the last minute and a half of this game, but take it over by, as you called it, the Shamrock. Marielle Shayok, his second G League season, played in a handful of NBA games for the Sixers. And on the G League squad, the Delaware Bluecoats. Rose. Has been a steady member of this Westchester squad. Brooks, Akinjo, fakes Davis in and delivers a three. His only year at Baylor was a one and done player. He was invited to the 2022 G League Elite Camp. Kick out, Lindsey drills a three. Up to three in this game to go along with eight points, three assists. Baldwin hanging off the window. Kamar Baldwin. Akinjo, free throw line floater, pure. You get the sense Davison is still trying to feel out this game in this level of basketball. Cabin Gelly for three, splash. I think we might have been undersold on the uh, shooting ability from the outside of the team by the old head coach. Last year with Rio Grande, from deep. 33 of 76, and there's Baldwin on the defensive end. Davison guards the trigger man. Rose puts the head down. Somehow finishes. Trailer, Baldwin at three, leaves it short. Off the tippy toes of Valentine, secure. Davison at three, he got it. Has a trailer, Valentine, Shayok, in and out. Kevin Kelly, the cleanup crew. Just Celtics not, by 17. Just not slowing down. Neither team, for that matter, is slowing down. Tom Thibodeau, head coach of the New York Knicks, was not kidding. They want to play fast. Valentine, a three. Celtics are red hot. Welcome back to the Expo. Celtics-Knicks resumes. Trevor Keels. But Celtics making it rain from deep tonight. 11 of 21, 52%. I don't know what Coach Barlow was talking about. Here comes Hunt. Another stuff at the rim. But of course, we don't even know what they're really running for offensive sets yet. True. Because they're shooting the ball. Absolutely lights out round. Gavin Gelly's out there banging down threes. It's just everyone gets some right now. In a fast tempo attack the rim game. <laughs> Omot to the rack and one. Long take by Omot. His second G League season played with Long Island. 
you going to believe me when I tell you you're down 16? <laughs> oh, Davison crafty. The defense has not been anything lacking at all either side. Both teams are playing right up in each other's mugs. Kevin Gelly left wide open. The assist tonight, he averaged 15, 10, and 7 for the main Celtics last year in 12 games. Oh, Jeffries almost put the punch in. 71-53. Shamanich catch and shoot. Another one for the Celtics. This time it's a three, but halfway down and out. Shayok the rebound. Cabin Gelly fights for room. Cabin Gelly up to 16 points to lead the way. Jeffries sets the feet. <laughs> up and down we go. We're at the expo. Let's go back and forth to keep up with this play because it is just fast, fast. The white and green jerseys out of focus. Constant motion. Shamanich. Shayok found him cutting in. Shayok looking for some help up top. Valentine goes one on one with Brooks, has that quickness advantage. Kevin Gelly on the drop off. Notice it because of the fast pace and how they're spreading the ball around and how the points are spread out right now. Kevin Gelly tips it away momentarily and Brooks sticks with it. Kevin Gelly confused by how trapped he was. Lindsay left wide open. Offensive rebound. Shayok the shovel. Kevin Gelly in this third quarter. He has been Mr. Muscle in that green paint. Omot to the slithering Akinjo. Push, though, since the first quarter, 25 point game. Cabin Gelly, but rejected by Hunt. It's a thin front court. Former Maine Celtic Luke Cornett had an injury in training camp, and you started to wonder would Fiondu get an opportunity? Tough struggles in this game. Celtics keep running, Shayok behind the back. Davison steps to the corner and rattles home a three. Celtics shooting 45% from three-point land. 13 threes tonight. We got Shamanich standing right in front of our broadcast yeah. table. The yeah. dog dad, as he likes to be called. Shayok, another three. Single dad of two. You know, and Khan and Max are waiting for him at the house. Oh, big ups, Cabin Gelly. Shayok the other end. You, gotta... I mean, you can't draw Nudie. that up any better, right? <laughs> Keels would run point last year with Bancaro at Duke. And down the jet he goes. And rebound Omot. Omot's been all over. Native of Kenya. Takes it and drains it. 69, six players have scored in double figures tonight for the Celtics. Smith, the step back three. Hanging in traffic, no good. Jeffries to Rose, connects. Quinton Rose. Loose ball, Rose is in the thick. Secured by Marvin Smith to Kendall, the fake pass, and he sprinkles it in. So we got an 11 second differential game clock and shot clock. Celtics leading 96-72. Valentine, a triple, he got it. I'm here to do what I need to do for the team to be successful. And he's embracing that leadership role, was antsy to get back on the court. Chris, they've scored at least 30 points in each stanza tonight. The offensive attack has been marvelous. Marvelous, fast, consistent. And if he can't get enough of Fiondu Cabin Kelly, backdoor pass, Baldwin to Valentine. Give him another 4 3 for Denzel Valentine. Westchester Dicks don't waste any time out. 40 seconds. Don't waste any time. They call a timeout 40 seconds into the fourth quarter. Jeffries connecting from the baseline. Short rim, Cabin Kelly, his 12th rebound. Marvin Smith sibs out and knocks down a three. The franchise record is 26 that they set last winter against this Westchester group. When you're going to play at this speed, that chemistry is going to be, you're going to pick that up a lot quicker as a team. Celtics were in the top five last year in turnovers committed in the G League. This is Trey's second season with Westchester. 
appeared in 10 games last year. 20 points can be a quick, quick find here. Fifth triple for Denzel Valentine. From three point land, 15, six rebounds, seven assists. Omot attempted oh. to draw the foul, somehow makes the rainbow shot. Trevor Keels splits the defense. Oh, you can tell why the Knicks love this kid. And then Brooks up and in, plus the foul. The capability of tip slam on the O boards. And that was one of those plays. Brooks, the turnaround J. Left wide open, his stroke not as smooth in the second half. Here comes Akinjo, who averaged six assists last year for Baylor, knocks down the elbow jumper. Last few shots by the C's coming up a little short. I mean, they have, I mean, Coach Barlow's done a great job rotating the guys through, so the. Stuck in mud, the outlet, back iron Jeffries. Omot grabs the offensive board, Cabin Gelly the block, but followed up by Brooks. Nine point game here in Portland, Maine. Celtics Knicks season opener. Baldwin knifes through the paints. Trying to change the momentum here for the team. Shayok finds Cabin Gelly, finger roll. Akinjo to trigger. Keels smooth to the basket. Trevor Keels, of course, being an alum, Barlow played for Brad Stevens at Butler. The amount of threes he made there. Game ceiling threes, Cabin Gelly. He won a championship last year with Rio Grande Valley, the Vipers, G League affiliate of the Houston Rockets. He was a fan favorite in Celtics preseason games at TD Garden when the team went down to Charlotte. Cabin Gelly was a fun guy to watch. Shayok. Peter in and get it closed the last few seconds. Put it away now kind of cruise control the last minute. Shayok hit the 20th three-pointer for the Celtics tonight. If Keels didn't take any threes, he'd be having a monster shooting percentage. Picked off by Akinjo. Omot the flush. Can use some scouting tips from the pro clubs to get ready for systematic approaches. Still a 10-point game, 17 seconds. Akinjo, he ain't slowing down. Jeffries to the rack. Night one for first-year head coach Alex Barlow goes as planned, his first career G League win.